if I think about our mobile equipment, so if I think about the reed stackers, terminal tractors, our strategy is very easy and simple. So, so there are two things what we want to do. We want to have the zero emission or sustainable operations. It means very much to have electric operations or electric battery-based operations. And then the other thing is just that also in that we want to get to the driverless solutions. And then if I may say the third one, that's come from the service point of view, that's a digitalization or connectivity. So we want really to take care that all those stupid machines are connected. So it really means that we don't provide any stupid machines. So, so we really provide intelligent machines, meaning now that we are able to get them connected, we are able to take care of the service, we are able to improve their efficiency. And, and they will be a place absolutely also for these mobile equipment solutions. Then if I think about the innovation, so, so automated RTCs, that will be a big thing that is coming. It means that they will be not fully automated in the, as a first step, but maybe it was remote controlled and then to take steps by steps and steps further to in, increase the intelligence. Then in the software side, so we have doing a lot of things. So, so of course we improve all the time the TOS or the Navis N4 functionalities because there is still a lot of optimization opportunities to make them more efficient. Then we have the XVLA activity, so we want really to connect the, the shipping lines together with the port operations and also the whole community, even to the next level. And, and there is so much opportunities. If you think about, we used McKinsey to make an analysis, how much waste happens in one year in the container flow, and it's 17 billion euros or dollars, the accuracy is the same. So there are a lot of opportunities for improve the whole operational flow of, of containers. Nowadays the situation is so that when the ship comes, so, so maybe one hour, two hours, a few hours before, so then the port operations get information what is coming and when it is coming. Oh, there are so many opportunities from that point of view. And then the intelligence to the, to the spreaders, the PROMA activities. So we also want to make intelligent spreaders that there will be much more information coming out of them. We can, we can do so many things also in that, even to add some additional sensors to them to get more information. I would say that the sky is the limit and, and we have increased drastically our investments into the, into the development. And, and we are over in investing into the automation, over investing into the software development, over investing in digitalization. Why we are doing it? Because they are the mega trends. We want to be there.